there's a map on my lap all about maps by Trish Rabe, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz, published by Random House. I'm the cat in the hat, and I'm happy to say, there's a map on my lap. Let's get on our way. We will travel the world, see the whole USA, and still be back home by the end of the day. Maps are drawings that help to find out where you are, to get where you're going, no matter how far. When map makers make maps, they must first decide who will be using the map and what it needs to do. Cartographer. Cartographer is just a more formal name for a map maker, but both jobs are the same. The map of the earth that we use most of all is a globe like the earth. It is round as a ball. Peel the skin off an orange and lay it out flat. A flat map of the earth would look something like that. Longitude. These are longitude lines, which run up and down. Latitude. Latitude lines go around and around. Now, if maps were the size of the places they show, map makers would run out of paper. And so, a chart called a scale makes maps easy to use, shrinking miles into inches on each map that you choose. Scale makes everything smaller and helps you and me carry the world around easily. You can make a map of far places you roam or a map called a plan of your very own home. We use the scale one inch equals three feet. It helps us do something we both think is neat. We drew our whole room so it fits on one sheet. There are four main directions. All maps have got them. North is on top, south down at the bottom. If you look to the right, that is where east will be. Look to the left, and it's west that you'll see. Try to remember all four. Here is one easy way. Never eat soggy wheat, is what I always say. I have here an atlas. Come on, take a look. You'll find lots of maps, and they're all in this book. Sometimes maps use pictures to show where things are. A capital city is marked with a star. A tent shows a campsite. Tracks show where a train is. To get to the airport, just find where a plane is. Legend. A chart called a legend, if you look carefully, will list and explain each picture you see. Some maps use colors to tell you a lot. I used blue where it's cold and red where it's hot. I made deserts light brown and jungles bright green. The legend will show you what these colors mean. Marine charts help boaters. These maps let them know if a rock, reef, or sandbar is hiding below. When you visit a city where you've never been, a city map helps you know where to begin. Here is a map we both carry around. It shows where the subway runs under the ground. Topographical maps are the kind hikers like. They use them to choose which directions to hike. They show where the land rises hilly and steep or goes deep down into valleys, all rocky and deep. It's a big world we live in. Here's one way to hold it. Pick up a map and then simply unfold it. Dot maps like this one are covered with dots. Some have a few dots, but others have lots. Each dot stands for something. On this map you see, each dot stands for one frizzle frazzled frazzy. Most frazzies live up north where the haircuts are free. When you look at a map, it's important to see there is more than one way from point A to point B. Firefighters use maps when they go fight a fire. The short way would take them down Vogel to fire. But traffic on fire can be a disaster. So they choose a long way that's also much faster. When you want to go from Vazo to Fazed, you can measure the miles for the road does not bend. 
But in order to go from Fazo to Fazing, on the 15th of May for the big Fazing Sing, the road twists and turns. So, first cut off some string. Put it down on the road all the way to Fazing. Then take out your ruler and measure the string. The scale on this map helps you to see that it's far. One inch equals 10 miles. So you should take the car. Use this trick to read maps. You'll be glad that you did. Some are covered with lines. This is known as a grid. There are letters on top, numbers run down the side. Want to find where you are? Let the grid be your guide. Trace a line down from A. Look across at line four. The lines cross at A4 at your very own door. We are having a party. We're waiting for you. Take a look at the grid. There's our house at E2. Here is a map that I just got today. It's a puzzle map showing the whole USA. Puzzle maps come in pieces. And here's the best part. You can put them together, then take them apart. Here is a question we can't wait to ask you. What state is the largest? It's this one, Alaska. Now, which of these states do you think is the smallest? You're right, it's Rhode Island, the smallest of allest. Here's a game that we play, so feel free to play too. What does each of the 50 states look like to you? Michigan looks like a scarf and a mitten. Louisiana looks like a chair you could sit in. You will have great adventures your whole life, and so I give you these maps. Oh, the places you'll go. You may travel the world, but no matter how far, with a map on your lap, you'll know where you are. You can always use maps. They will help you in knowing where you have been and just where you are going. The end. We hope that you enjoyed this reading. There's a map on my lap all about maps. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.